Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I am back with another laminating video. Um, I know I get asked all the time if I'll do any some more laminating videos, so I've been playing around with it and I've come up with something which I think is pretty cool. So, we are going to laminate Gildan Flakes. Now, normally to stick these down you need glue, and, um, double sided adhesive sheets, whatever but with this you don't. So what I wanted to show you, I've made um, I made this card here and that sentiment there that you can see has been laminated with the Gildan Flakes and it just looks like it's all kind of foil and it has, looks like it has glossy accents on, but it doesn't. So I did a couple and um, that was the first one I did. I was a little bit worried about if it would work, so I just put a few on. Um, I did another one here, which is purples and silvers, and I think that's beautiful. This was the one that I did and I've already cut some words out. And this one I did with the matte pouch. Now, to me that just kind of looks like gold paint. That's what it's made the flakes look like, gold paint. So, I cut some more of the uh, little die cut words out. There's another one. I mean, that is beautiful. It really is. It does bring give a beautiful effect. There was another word I cut out <clears throat> that was the blue one um, and a green one with pink gilded flakes. You can see them there. So pretty. So as I said that's the card that I did. So we're going to make a couple of cards as well and we're going to do this together. Now you can also do it just on the acetate, not acetate, just with the plain pouch, but I've, that's wrinkly. Now I've found it goes wrinkly when it's too hot. If your laminate is too hot, it wrinkles an empty pouch. I would do it first and then you will probably find that it should come out okay. But yeah, you can, you could just make like your um, <clears throat> foiled acetate type of thing with it. So I'm using this paper pad that I found, um, like a neon ombre thing. Now if you don't have one of these, just make your own with some Distress inks. Just make your own, you know, blended backgrounds. Um, I would, but I just haven't had time this morning. So I've got two different effects of the paper here. This is just six by six paper. I'm going to turn the laminate on ready. I'm using A5 pouches um, because I don't really need an A4 pouch. They're just normal glossy pouches. And while that's heating up, I'm going to open the pouch. And then I've got quite a lot of Gildan flakes. I've got the Aurora flakes, which are beautiful. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to use. I think I might use this, which is like a kind of rosy gold flake. So I'm going to sprinkle some of these in on the base, like the bottom of the pouch. Now it's up to you how many you like on, but I would try and separate them a bit because you don't just want like clumps in one place. So I'm just going to sprinkle them around. And then I'm going to take one sheet of the paper and I'm going to put it pattern side down or coloured side down in this case. Right, and press that down. And I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to pop the other sheet in colour side up or pattern side up. 
and then I'm going to sprinkle some more in. And you don't really need that many to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to close that and then what I would do is just press them down and then you kind of flatten them then. Turn it over and we can flatten these as well. And that's it so that when we run this through we will just be laminating one side which means you can then die cut them which obviously is what I did with these because if you try to die cut them with just a normal like, double lamination some of them just will not cut um, so we just want them single sided and then we'll have two different papers here so it's ready and I'm going to run it straight through turned it off now can you see because this laminator wasn't the hottest like really really hot it hasn't wrinkled that empty piece of acetate so that's what I find if it gets too hot you know you're laminating away it will start to wrinkle it but if you do this bit if you want to make like a sparkly kind of acetate just do it when you haven't long had the laminator on and I find it works then so take some scissors and we're just gonna cut around the paper and it should open up and now we've got two separate pieces which are laminated on one side and the hat now have this gorgeous like foiling on them oh I love this absolutely love this it is so cool I've been on with this all morning just playing around so we're going to do a card with it so I've just got a black piece of card for a base I've cut some more of this paper just in a different colour way and I'm going to glue that on there if I can find my glue okay so I'm going to glue that onto the black piece And then <clears throat> I've just grabbed any dye that was in my stash, it happens to be this heart dye. And I've cut it from like a shimmery pink paper. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going to quickly glue this down. This is just to give you some ideas of what you can do with your um, Gildan Flakes laminate and stuff. So I'm going to just glue that roughly there. Because we're going to, as I said, we're going to be using our stuff, using what we've got. So there's our lovely heart on there. Now, again, I just raided what I had and I found um, a load of like uh, word dies basically. I've got tons and tons of them. So I think I am going to have, I'm going to die cut a few at a time actually. So I'm going to have the love, I'm going to have thanks and what else? No, I'm going to do the hugs and then I can put these away and use these whenever I want to, you know, nice jazzy sentiments out. Now just to pop them up. I've got some of this 3ml craft foam. If you haven't, you can just use normal, you know, fun foam 
or you could just cut your die from card a few times and layer it up so you've got say three layers of the card and then put your laminating piece on the top so you've got loads of options to get them nice and thick so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to just start cutting them out I want to have kind of um, try and get like a couple of the of the different colours in if I can if you get what I mean so it's not just one colour and there was another die there which I've put the machine on top of so I'm going to cut these out and as I said because it's only laminated on one side it's easy to cut run it through once and then I'm going to run it back and you will see that it does cut oh damn I've cut the top off that one I'll have to do that one again you will see they do cut really really easily and then when you get them out you've got a beautiful glossy die cut with foil in it no glossy accents to add or anything it's just beautiful you can create your own gorgeous little sentiments and I mean you can also use regular dies if you don't mind them you know like glossy I, I, I don't like really glossy cards but I don't mind having you know just glossy parts on them or like you know just a feature of of the gloss I'll have to do that one again because I've cut the top of the letter off so that's that and then I'm just gonna cut them out again with this one so I'm basically just gonna cut loads of these out and then we're going to make a couple of uh, cards with these actually so I'll cut all of these out use the rest of this up and I'll be back okay I'm back so I have cut tons of them out and what I also did was I cut some of these little hearts just to save waste and any of them so you can also cut little things like that now I've got this card I've got my little foam piece that I cut and I'm going to pick one of the loves so I've got a few colours here mm. no I'm going to go for this one and I'm just going to get my glue and I'm just going to put some on the foam that is just beautiful and then glue on the back And I'm going to put this just kind of across the middle like this and then what I've done is I've took this little stamp set again another one in my stash and I've got the and hugs so it's going to be love and hugs and then I've just got some little scrap piece of black card and I'm going to heat emboss this with um, white embossing powder so I've got my little stamp stamp this down and then I can cut them out there we go move and hugs and then we'll quickly heat set that we go 
So I will cut these out. Now I'm not sure whether to just keep them attached or whether to cut them like separately. I don't know yet so I'm going to have a look. No, I think I'm going to have to cut them separately because I think otherwise they look a little bit funny. So I'm going to quickly stick these down and then we're going to make something else. down as well. Love and hooks. There we go. Now doesn't that look beautiful with that foiled gilded flakes? Just so pretty. So there we go. That's one thing we've done. Now we're going to take the <clears throat> thanks. I'm going to take three of them. So we've got thanks, thanks, and thanks. I've got just a card here, card base, and then um, just a, another card, white piece of card for the front. So this will be pretty but you know really really simple but it's got that beautiful foiling on it so I'm gonna just glue that down on the front and then I'll have to cut <clears throat> one more piece of foam because I want them all, you know, kind of uh, raised up. Easy to glue them on here, actually. It's so pretty. It actually looks like really expensive, um, expensive paper. So I was just going to have... Thanks. Well, I was going to have it three times, but I don't think I'm going to fit it on this because... I don't think I've made the card big enough really because that's got like a really tall a really tall um, H hasn't it Stick this on, then we'll see what we can do. That's another beautiful one. Oops, sorry, it's my dog again. jump there. I nearly flung me die cut, die cut across the blooming room. Right, I'm going to have to be back with someone oh, at the door. Sorry about that, it was Amazon. Yeah, so I've glued them two on and then what I did again was I took those little scraps. So I've really cut loads out of this. I just found some even smaller, really cute little stitched hearts and I'm going to put them on because I did want to have it three times but I haven't made the card long enough and then again I just dug around in some stamps and I found thanks I'm grateful 
so I'm going to hold this stamp straight on to the card I might just test it first that should be okay There we go, that is so cute. And there's the first one we did. So yeah, give it a go because I think I'll be doing this again later this afternoon because it's pretty addictive. So you can foil Gildan Flakes. So thanks for watching. I'll be back on Sunday with my new series of Ray Love Your Stash. Um, I'm going to do this for quite a while and we're just going to dig around and see what we can make. In this Sunday we are focusing on basic die shapes, you know, circles, hearts, whatever. Um, probably one background stamp and an ink pad. So I'll see you on Sunday. Take care and bye for now.